Hello, everyone, and we are continuing with our Teacher Appreciation Week, focusing on famous artists who are also art teachers or just teachers at some point. Today, we are going to talk about the mother of American modernism, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Many of you may already know about O'Keeffe, but she is an artist that should be featured in this video series. I picked her quote, to create one's world in any of the arts takes courage, because I feel that circles back to the beginning videos we did, focusing on courage and the arts. So let's look at why Miss O'Keeffe is such a famous artist and what we can know about her work to recognize her style in other pieces. So Georgia O'Keeffe was born in Wisconsin and studied art at the Art Institute of Chicago, the Art Students League and University of Virginia. Uh, from 1912 to 1914, she taught drawing and penmanship to the public school systems in Texas. She is mainly known for her modernist paintings of enlarged flowers, New York skyscrapers and New Mexican landscapes. She, as I mentioned at the beginning, she is the mother of American modernism and her paintings are used are known to use both abstract and concrete elements. Concrete meaning objects can be recognized. For example, she painted many flowers, rocks, shells, animal bones, and landscapes. And abstract means that there's colors and forms, but nothing truly real that you can capture or see in her pictures. She is very famous because at a world auction in 2014, she holds the record for the most uh, the painting that sold for the most money. It's the top painting up here called Jimson Weed, White Flower Number One, sold for $44.4 million. So looking at that top painting, that's something to think about. Would, would that, does that surprise you that this is the most expensive uh, auctioned painting by a woman in history? I think it's surprising, but that's something for you to think about. And then below is another painting that she did, just to show that uh, another signature style uh, um, of her work. So I encourage you to look at the work and art of Georgia O'Keeffe. Again, she was an art teacher at some point in her early career. And I encourage you all to uh, explore the arts. And again, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we're thanking art teachers.